On behalf of the Prime Minister of Fiji, who sends his warm uh, regards and is unable to uh, join us tonight, uh, I welcome you on behalf of the people of Fiji uh, this evening. We are here tonight uh, in the presence of our esteemed guests with Her Royal Highness and her delegation, and we are appreciative of your, of your commitment to visit Fiji and indeed the region at this very important time. At the outset, I acknowledge our active cooperation with Denmark at, our multi at the multilateral, bilateral levels with mutual priorities on key issues, including human rights and democracy, climate change, oceans, sustainable development, partnerships, peace and security. I couldn't help but to have another look at your uh, hectic schedule, uh, Your Royal Highness, today. And uh, in some ways, uh, uh, it was, I thought it really fitting that you went and saw our uh, president before you, you headed to his, uh, actually to his province. And um, uh, you know, the, um, it's a frontier that is still very much undeveloped from the Fiji government's perspective. And uh, certainly we uh, hope to uh, invest more into that part of Fiji. It is actually quite an untouched part of Fiji, to be quite honest. Uh, as a developing economy, we have much to learn from uh, Denmark's development progress and global leadership on sustainable development, digital innovation, among, uh, amongst others. I acknowledge with gratitude the UNFPA for its continued cooperation with our communities in looking after the needs of the most vulnerable women, men, youth, and children. And I congratulate the Executive Director on the launch of the State of the World Population Report of 2023. The report provides an update on the current state of and projections of the world's population, including trends, challenges, and opportunities for sustainable development. I know that there are areas that we need to improve in our partnership with the UNFPA, and I'm confident that with your visit this week provides an excellent opportunity to explore this even further. Significantly, the report highlights that the global population is now 8 billion. Our Pacific region makes up a mere 2.5 million of the global population. The climate crisis remains the most significant existential threat to our future. Uh, our guests had the opportunity, as I mentioned, to travel to Nambava, to Ndriketi, and witness firsthand uh, the um, impacts of climate change uh, induced natural disasters in Fiji. And uh, Your Royal Highness, um, it's, uh, if you go to every single coastal village across our great land, you will see the real uh, effects of uh, climate change. It is real. Uh, even in my village, which is somewhat inland from sea, they are start, starting to experience uh, inundation uh, from climate change uh, challenges. Um, I'm sure you would have heard from uh, those uh, directly affected and the recurring and intensive nature of natural disasters are drivers for relocation of our people. It comes with its own challenges including intergenerational impacts on culture, livelihood, the way of life, and a sense of belonging. And just to give that some context, uh, Your Royal Highness, uh, particularly for the, the Fijians, we, um, we attach almost a spiritual-like connection to the land. Uh, and so it is not uh, foreign for, for uh, Fijians to be referenced as a a person from a certain location. Uh, so, and, uh, so when relocation happens, uh, Your Royal Highness, uh, it is more than just a physical relocation. 
it's actually uh, extracting you from what is your central being or from your uh, spiritual uh, locality. A people-centered approach that you, uh, should take into account cli how climate change affects all people, particularly women and young people, is important when putting relocation plans into action. Climate action plans need to include investment in health, education, empowerment of women and girls, to strengthen the ability of individuals and communities to adapt to the changing climate. In saying this, I trust your remaining engagements with the stakeholders who provide leverage for our continued cooperation at the bilateral and multilateral levels. For this evening, we celebrate resilience and the gift of friendship and partnership that has been strengthened by your visit and will continue to be enhanced in the coming future through our close cooperation. I wish you us all a very good evening. God bless the uh, country of Denmark. God bless Fiji. God bless us all. Thank you.